guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a fossil wash. So I do these quite regularly because a lot of the stuff I found throughout my university years um, kind of went into a box and never got prepped. So as you can see here we've got loads of different bits and bobs. So this is mainly ammonites and belemnites but I do believe there's a nautilus and no nautiloid. Nautiloid. I always get confused. One day I'll remember. And some brachiopods and bivalves. So I'll see if I can find the Nautilus first. What did I? Ah, there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so they're all a bit dusty and in need of a clean. Um, but they just look like that. And then this is a brachiopod. So I really like the shape of these. I, oh, I know the name of these with the. They kind of have like two bumps on them, almost like little horns. But um, I can't remember the name name of them, is it? I want to say Rinconellid, but that might be wrong. Might be wrong. But they're, they're brachiopods. Um, or shells, if you aren't aware of those names. But um, yeah, just loads of bits and bobs. Some nice looking ammonites, though. They clean. I'm really sorry. I think there's a uh, rather loud helicopter going over my house right now. There we go, the military train round me, so um, yeah, that'll be one of them. But we've also got some Chonkir Bellumnites, so they're quite cool there. So I, I, a cool fact about Bellumnites is this sort of pointy shape you see here is one fifth of the actual size of the organism. So these would have been like, this one here would have been, you know, five times that length. So this all... I thought the ground was closer than it was so this one would have actually been like this long when it was complete so you know this is only part of the creature so you have to kind of imagine you know what they actually would have looked like because you're just finding like part of their shell um so that's a cool thing so these all need a wash so i'm going to go soak them and then i'll bring you guys with me when i take them out and see if they look any jazzier than they already do but these are kind of the ones that are just going to go in my jar i think these are jar fossils because <laughs> I'm just trying to just trying to store it all but in a way that I can see it all I don't want to store them in boxes if I can avoid it like I want it all on display um so I'm finding a way trying to find a way right let's do it so due to a few things cropping up I've actually let these ammonites soak overnight so it's the next day and miraculously the weather has gone from you know tropical sunshine to raining normal England so hence the outfit change but um yeah so they have well and truly soaked so it's been about 24 hours so I've got a little towel here so I'm going to take them out and I'll show you guys a few of the good ones so I've moved you guys a bit closer so I don't have to go running to my camera every time I show you something um so I'm just going to have a rummage through these ones I'm going to show you guys the nautiloid first because you saw what it looked like before I washed it now I don't think it's changed much but um, you can just kind of see it a little bit better now the dust is off. And I think it's got a lot of character, this one. It's not perfect, but it's still really sweet. And I haven't found many Nautiloids in my time. So I take what I can get for now. Um, you know, hopefully one day I'll find a pristine Nautiloid with like crystallized chambers that I can cut in half and polish. But that's me just fantasizing there one day. <laughs> now, this is a piece of an ammonite I found, but I love how it is. Like, it literally how perfect is that it's only a piece of the ammonite but it has the center and it's just it almost looks like it's part of an ammonite jigsaw i just i just loved it you know me and ammonites it doesn't matter what they look like i love them so <laughs> bit of a problem there now this is a kind of cool one it's you know set in rock but the ammonite's exposed so it's got again it's got a lot of character this like i wouldn't actually want to remove the excess rock from this piece i think it's what makes it something special like that sat on a shelf i think it's just beautiful and it's actually a really nice ammonite in that one so i really like this one yeah that's turned out beautiful now what other interesting things might there be in here there's a lot of little ammonites but we're slowly getting through I think there's not going to be many more batches of this like hundreds of ammonites that I found so hopefully we'll get to some different stuff soon. I need to find, I have I found a massive ammonite, I did a video on it back when I was at uni probably a year ago about now 
and um, I need to find it because I bought the glue to glue it back together but I can't find the pieces it's like they're in one of the boxes somewhere but this is a little brachiopod but I really like brachiopods and I haven't found loads of brachiopods but I should have enough to fill a little pot up so that's why I'm trying to find them all so I can just process all my stuff in the garage so it can get into the house and into my room um, that's my goal anyway and I want to get that done before my masters and I leave for my masters in three months so there's a lot to be done but lots of videos for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy watching all the stuff that I've collected and what I'm doing to it at the moment so this is just a nice fragment of an ammonite I say fragment it's pretty much whole and it's just missing a fragment but it's quite nice but yeah I've just got loads of bits and bobs to sort basically but I feel like this is every fossil hunter like if if you do it regularly you just build up a hoard and it's trying to process it you know I love finding new stuff and it's that excitement and it's like Emma sort the old stuff so <laughs> one day I will this is just a really chunky bellum night like look at that <laughs> so again just a fragment of a bellum night this one so into my bellum night jar now what's this one see i really loved this one but i think i don't think the center's all there now i'm not going to put vinegar on it we all know what happened last time i did that to the center of an ammonite it went all the way through but uh <laughs> if you look it doesn't actually i really liked the colors on this one i thought it was just really pretty but i'm looking at the middle there and i'm thinking i don't think it goes all the way around so we'll leave it as it is i think and just pop it in a jar or something for now until i find another home for it or do something with it <laughs> need to build my house out of these i think that's what i'll do yeah after in two years when i finish my masters i'll build a house I, that's a joke i mean that would be amazing but i don't think it's a very wouldn't be a very practical house but i do have enough building materials for it <laughs> so this is another fragment of a larger ammonite but i quite like that you can kind of see the suture lines on the second well they almost look like leaves I really like suture lines, there's just something so interesting about them all because they're so different on so many species. Um, it's really, really cool. Oh, this is, this Bellamite's turned out really smooth. <laughs> it still has a few bits on it, but some bits of it like are almost polished. It's beautiful. Look at that. Don't know if you guys can see what I mean, but this bit like up here, it's super like, it's not soft, but it's really smooth, really smooth. I like it. Now what else can I find? Apologies if you can hear a helicopter going above my house. I'll just let it pass. I think it's going to get a bit loud. Go. so these are some more brachiopods that I have found hide my face so you can see it so one's ribbed one small so just look like that kind of cool and we've got a load of bellamite fragments they just look like that and so a lot of the bellamites I found kind of lose their you know the tips minus this lovely exception so that's why you know they're still pretty cool to look at and they're you know really unusual that they used to be a squid and I love finding them but I think I think these ones belong in a jar you know they're not quite an exceptional piece to just have in its own on my shelf so that's kind of how I judge fossils now it's like are they jar fossils or are they display fossils <laughs> Because I can get a lot in a jar, I found. It's brilliant. So these are just some really cute little ammonites. Really teeny tiny. So you can tell my fingers are cold because my nails are pink. I've got um, colour changing nail varnish on, so when my fingers are warm, they'll go white. Kind of cool. You might not see them white because it's kind of really cold today, So, and I'm dipping my hands in cold water, but I thought I would share that fact with you guys. Now this is a lovely little ammonite I found. It just looks like that. I never get bored of finding ones like this. I just think they're so perfect. Even when they're not perfect. 
Now, this was really muddy, this one, when I put it in. I remember I had to like take chunks of mud off of it before I soaked it. Otherwise, it just would have made the water really muddy. But it's actually turned out quite pretty, I think. I quite like that one. Now, what else do we have? So this is just a massive chunk of an ammonite. It's just one whirl, so you can just see the ribbing around there. So I just liked sort of how chunky it was. So that's why we collected that one. Now, any other good ones in here? I won't drag you along for too long. I will just dry them all and then show you the finished, the finished thing. So here's another ammonite fragment. So you can see this bit here is actually its outer whirl, but it almost looks like a perfect smaller ammonite if we just took that whirl off. So maybe I'll do that because that's quite a pretty little one. And then these are just cute teeny tiny ones that they're all kind of they've got like a little bit of extra matrix kind of in the center of them but they're still still very cute right so i'm gonna now take them all out and then i'll show you them all drying so you can have a look at the whole hoard this time around this is the finished wash load so there was a bit more than i thought in that tub because as you can see my um space for drying them is a little bit crowded but they should all dry fine so you can see them all here. So it's mainly ammonites. You got a few brachiopods there, some belemnites, but quite a lot of nice stuff actually. I really do like some of them. So not all of them will go in my jars. I think a few are nice enough to go in my cabinets, but yeah, just that I would share them all. So I'll zoom in so you can see a few of them. So I love the little fossil on this one and it's kind of surrounded by a bigger one. I think that's really cool. So there's lots of really nice pieces I found on this trip. It was definitely very successful and I really do love some of the ammonites. This one that I showed you is definitely one of my favourites. And then the Norta. Norta Lloyd as well wins my heart as well because they're not as common to find and you know it might not be perfect but to me it is so I love it. So that's this lot so I thought I would share so that's all I got for you guys today I really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought of my hoard from this fossil hunting trip and also what you'd like to see in the future on my channel but I do hope you're all doing well and yeah hopefully I'll see you next time thanks for watching